Born Brian Johnson, a 45 year old Instagram influencer, is known for eating a macabre pound of liver every day, as well as lifting heavy weights and flaunting his lifestyle on TikTok and Instagram. His ridiculously massive muscles are the start of the show, even bigger than the ones our favorite superhero actors try to achieve with all their airbrushing, weight cutting, and daily rock climbing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Fat Loss Transformation. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about the Liver and King method for weight loss. With that being said, let's get started. We are the Liver King tribe and we are paying our debts. Using a skewer, pierce the bill and place it over the fire. Johnson said this in a strange video of his family that was just posted today. As he devours an unidentified animal carcass, he adds, mm -hmm -hmm. That's a lot of protein for sure. However, according to a new GQ story that raises eyebrows, Professional fitness experts are not convinced by the liver king's boasts. Why is he known as the liver king? What are the benefits of following this liver method? What are the various methods? Brian Johnson, also known as the liver king, is the owner and operator of Ancestral Supplements. He is also a health nut, and his company, Ancestral Supplements, provides men and women with higher quality dietary supplements. To ensure more top quality, they only create one little batch. He's been involved in health and fitness activities for quite some time. He believes in the health and well-being developmental hypothesis. That is why he has been successfully attempting to provide individuals with top-of-the-line upgrades. Their products are said to have the greatest impact on overall health, with grass-fed meat liver and bone marrow topping the list. Brian Johnson, a weightlifter, is estimated to be between 40 and 45 years old. However, this is merely a guess based on his appearance, so it's possible that it's not the same as his true age. However, even though his true age has yet to be revealed on the internet, he appears to be much younger. People are hounding us, demanding that we study and reply to the liver king. Brian Johnson is the liver king, and no, he is not ACDC's lead singer. The Liver King is on fire. The Liver King is on fire. He's talking about restoring society's vigor and happiness. That is an excellent message. He also discusses the importance of eating healthy. He also has his nine ancestral living tenants. My first assumption is that he studied Weston A. Price, DDS, nutrition and physical degeneration, took everything he learned, and is now applying it to his internet and online business. As a result, he's doing a fantastic job of repurposing someone else's stuff. Weston A. Price was a dentist who traveled around studying indigenous people in the early 1900s. He studied the foods and eating habits of these forefathers. Price, for example, documented how some societies use organ meats to obtain vitamins such as K2, MK7, and other nutrients. The body of the liver king is incredible. He discusses how sleep is his first fundamental tenet and how it takes precedence over anything else. This is an excellent message, in my opinion. His eating tenet makes me laugh. I'm not sure why eating is considered an ancient precept. Eating is a survival tenet for me. We will perish if we do not eat. What does it mean to be ancestral, I wonder? In any case, the Liver King mentions consuming whole creatures. For ancestral tribes, this is rather common. Although there were vegetarian tribes, most cultures have evolved to eat animals. The Liver King's concept of fitness is movement. Things like walking, exercising, and possibly napping. So far, everything has been rather routine. This is when we begin to enter into some intriguing territory. First, there's the shield's ancestral tenet. We must protect and shield our family to avoid dangers, says the website. This is where I believe things begin to wear me down. It gives off a strange, cult-like vibe of follow me. Don't disrupt your hormones and make it into the shield tenet for some reason. He also advises against using plastics, which is strange given plastics are used in his videos. Connect is the next tenet. This tenet reminds me of David Avocado Wolf's grounding pads, mattresses, and everything else he's done with electric magnetic fields to reduce inflammation. Liver King is attempting to convey the message of staying connected to nature. Going for a walk in the woods has some merit. This leads us to the cold tenet which states that comfort is bad for the body, so it becomes chilling. What about the indigenous ancient people who lived near the equator and still do? Temperature and climate are affected by geography. I believe it is beneficial to become accustomed to being uncomfortable. Then there's the sun. 
which is the next tenet. Going outside in the sun is a great way to start your day. And, and when the sun strikes your eyes, it helps you set your circadian rhythm. It's beneficial to do it every morning throughout the week. This is based on an extensive study. The liver king then connects this to teeth, implying that teeth should not be brushed or flossed. It is possible that it's due to a deficiency of vitamin D. However, I'm rather certain that indigenous people flossed. MK4, which is beneficial, is also mentioned by the liver king. Then we come to the fights tenet. We shall fight, scrap, persevere, and win, according to Liver King. He also mentions that we are rewarded with a large amount of dopamine when we win. This precept, in my opinion, is about pushing oneself with a positive forward attitude, conquering the day and attaining goals, and igniting an inner fire. Set a goal to be very outstanding at something and then crush it. And with that, we arrive at the ninth and last tenet, bond. We belong to a far higher reason, as the Liver King says, giving me a socialist vibe to get out and bond with others, form a community and create friends to have fun with. Raw beef liver is the greatest thing to eat after working out, since it is nutrient dense. My first set of savages at Garage Strength used to make raw liver smoothies by combining tomato juice, cayenne pepper, lemon, and a pinch of mint in a shake, mixing it well and then drinking it. It is essentially a V8 liver shake. If you're going to consume raw beef liver, make sure it's from a grass-fed farm. Make sure the meat comes from a reputable source. I wouldn't even touch it if it wasn't a high-quality item. According to Liver King, in today's environment, we prefer processed foods and muscular meats while neglecting the most nutritious sections of the animals. When murdering a buffalo, indigenous people in the Americas would often not touch the liver, which was the first thing they would eat with their bare hands. They brought the liver to their mouth with a stick. They also ate the heart and eyeballs. They continued to eat muscular flesh. They weren't going to let that slide. Bone marrow, by the way, is excellent. And I simply want to point out that the liver king preaches eating the animal's horn to hooves. That also includes the muscular flesh. Liver king discusses primordial foods such as bone broth. Bone broth was once referred to as boner broth. Glycine levels in bone broth are so high that you'll sleep like a baby. Males aren't aware of the potential consequences of waking up. Then there's the Liver King, who drives a sick Ford truck while wearing chains around his neck. The Liver King is a ruthless beast. He promotes eating good, high-quality food, and recovering with adequate sleep from workout to workout, as well as spending time with family, which is a wonderful advice. Don't mess with your hormones, advises the Liver King. The Liver King, on the other hand, is clearly on the throttle. He's going all out. He's slathered in sauce. His cocktail sounds like a biotest vocabulary study because he's so skinny. Even though his lifestyle contradicts his one belief, he's a complete machine who must be watched. Is this a great success in the long run? How can one make the most out of this method? What is going to make this as a healthy lifestyle? Having said that, as we near the end of this video, we would like to thank you all for sticking with us. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Most importantly, if you want to be kept up to date on anything related to the health and fitness industry, then you should subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and never miss our videos. Look forward to seeing you at the next one. Peace until then.